Okay, y'all. Today is the day. Super Pro Gaming, we live. We back on the scene. And we back here with some farming simulator. Today. Around in our first days of March. And uh, it's about... 1725 in game June 2nd month So yeah folks we back on some farming simulator so this is this this is some content from the Road to a billion So what we have been doing is basically we started out with a productions mind frame and we have been building this farm up as you can see we're probably about five or six years in end game we plan on two day season so right now we're in June day two wrapping up the day headed into July so as you can see we have purchased all the fields on Westbridge Hills and this video is just kind of update on where we at and where we're headed. So we're headed, we're trying to get one billion. And this is all in game, you know, earnings and whatever mods you can do, production chains, you know. No uh, government subsidizes or any of that, of that, you know, of that type of money earning. But this is, I would say, just straight from our production production and farming and what we have been doing agriculturally with the Westbridge Hills map so right now our treasury is sitting at 913 million four hundred thirty seven thousand eight hundred twenty four dollars so we have been working folks so and and you can watch a couple past videos and learn a lot about different production chains different things different uh ways you can maximize your uh, profits and your earnings to uh, build a profitable farm up you know it may and then you can trans transition into the uh, real world you know if you if you're a farmer you know if you hands-on farming in the real world you can even, and even if you watch the videos and you on a scale like this, you still can, you know, figure out how to uh, manage expenses, increase earnings. Yeah, so, you know, just a little little fun facts for the year. We read some Reader's Digest. It says, with the winter frost melting and the ground becoming fertile for harvest again in the northern hemisphere, March was historically the perfect month for both farmers to resume farming and warriors to resume warring. <laughs> yeah, so they go tip show. Yeah, and and around the world, I know you guys been seeing it out there. The weather, rain, uh, snow, different parts of the region that you know that don't really get snow, like California has been. Getting. So a lot of that snow will uh, generate some moisture for the ground around that, you know. Uh, fill up those ground reserves again when that water, you know, or just help it out from the time that it's been dry. That's kind of what I take out of it. So this is just my opinion. You can see we got liquids over there. Just got some hotels, turn, turn the little passive income. We've been making money off windmills. I can take this down. Yeah, so how you guys been doing? I've been watching you guys' videos. Y'all been coming out with some awesome farming content. Steady, uh, improving on ways to do do different things. Uh, and like I say, this map has been kind of geared towards mostly production change. We started it around. And we kind of... Uh, sold some businesses added some different businesses so we've mainly been kind of generate money from production chains again uh, our biogas plant has been a major key 
for our income, you know, overall. So we've been kind of making about 20 million, maximizing but 20, 20 million, 25 million per month. They got the oil, oil over there turning. And Westbridge Hills map is, is not the easiest map to build buildings on because it's so hilly and it ain't really flat terrain. But we've managed to get it going. We got our milk sheep here, so we got some. And we turn those fields, uh, fields, as you, you probably can't see it, but it's field four, field five, and six. We have turned into a hub. Right now, where we at, we on, we on field one. We turn this into a little, got our chickens. We got our sorghum growing. So for our fields, we got all our fields harvested. Uh, let's check it. So we got sorghum on one and two. We got barley, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Fields 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19 20 21 i call this the southern part because this line right here divides it from the store down and we got soybean fields we got field 20 that's our wind solar you know our solar windmill farm in 20. so we did plant soybeans so we said well we just gonna turn this project since we you know we are high up in treasury where we don't you know, really have to work too hard. Now it's just all about managing and maintaining and growing to that billion. So down here, we we got our animals and we got our biogas plant project industry on field 13. And I have been excited to see how this is growing. You know, I've been behind the scenes putting things together and just figuring out how to transition and keep that so barley has been hard uh our barley has been ready to harvest i'm not sure i know we've been i might check it out i forgot so this is some of our little stores it ain't really too much it's just kind of like stores where we got stuff going and our seed business has been helping us turn profit over a faster pace, bringing that income in where we can put that uh, money to use and build out our build out our farm. You know, to grow grow our business for our shareholders. <laughs> so we got about 1.5 million compost waiting on that August. August season of fluctuation to hit. See, can we get get a you know a good three, four, five million off that? So they got the cookies. We ain't got any cookies. So we got another map. We started. I I, I switched over. We we've been playing this on Xbox Series S. So I switched over to PS4, and we started the Western Wilds map. We just kind of been uh, seeing what if how we can. Put that map together to kind of build it out to and just make it look like a, a town or something you know different industries road systems and stuff like that so that's going to be our next project and we interested in getting that started so that's some new content you know keep out for the channel so as you can see june was our big months because basically what we did we saved up all our liquids our foods and our uh our products basically like you know the, the pink like our furniture uh, 
different things like that. So we made 80, 185 million in that, that month. So as you can see, our little construction cost was 215,000. We sold some buildings. I think we was kind of, uh, you know, finding buildings where we could sell that we didn't need to. And then, you know, maximum, cause we got the maximum buildings we can price down. Uh, vehicle leasing costs property maintenance, property income. So we earning right around, so in April we earned 4.6 million and that's basically generating from our windmills. It fluctuates and we spent about 90 million uh, on field 20. And we made, we sold products, we made $175,524,179 in our uh, production change that month. And sell another little. And our water cost was 10000 So that's our numbers for June. And you, as you can see, when we were selling products in February, March, April, and May, we was uh, kind of averaging around. 10 million, 9 million. March, we uh, tested out something. I think we we tested out, because now, so, but it, this, this is just recently that you can buy uh, some of the products from the uh, multi-filling station. So they got where you, so basically you can buy like reputation and then sell it. So if you just, you know, if you didn't want to go through the process of that, you could just buy it for the low and sell it for the high kind of that you know if you want to do it like this so we, we spent about 10 million on our on a, on a 80 on 82 liters of uh, reputation and we made about 60 something million I think yeah so Then for our animals, we got got our black sheep producing milk for our cheese production. Then we got our uh, chickens. We got our cattle, and they have been another healthy uh, income system. They provide milk for our production chains. Uh, they provide slurry and manure for our. Uh, we just been selling that. We got a slurry sale point up there, and that's been helping us out. And we have to feed them every day, or this will run down the total. You know, they they, they have to be fed every day, or they wake up be zero, and you won't have no production with these two. And then we got another cow barn, and that is uh, those heifers are slowly but surely uh, reproducing to the maximum two hundred forty. So our dairy cows, and then we got some more milk sheep. So that's for our animals. We're running milk sheep, dairy cows, and chickens. And uh, our production chain. So we got the maximum that you can do. So for our production chain, we bought the biogas plant. That's just one piece of industry, like passive income in it. Uh, Builds up digest it, and we take that to ourselves, so we get it. We get a, a nice little ticket for those. We have a grain mill, which I will turn it on now, cause we wasn't using it. And this is just something to show you, cause I started this on Westbridge Hills. Like everything that we doing over there, we just automatically selling it. Like we're we're. We, it's just like whatever it will sell for the month, so we won't have to worry about selling doing that. So we would turn this one on and we would just automatically put it to selling. Or we can store it and see how much we get, but we'll just put it on to sell. And actually what I will do, since we got it, so I will come through here when I got time, I will fill each one of these up with wheat, barley, sorghum, and corn. And if we have some soybeans that we harvested from our farm, I'll put them in there and we'll turn them all on and we'll just have it, we'll go so it can produce, you know, produce faster. And we'll put
produce a lot of flour and that'll just be another income source selling automatically past you to I'm not sure who it's gonna sell to but it may just sell it back to the grain mill and now some of these things that you can buy like ketchup you can buy salad you can buy now crisp and things you can buy from the uh, multi filler station so that's a that's a good thing so yeah that's just some of you know an update on the Westbridge Hills 22 map road to a billion because we almost there we would have been there but we spent the 90 90 million dollar project for our solar and that kind of knocked us back but we did manage to run it back up to about 900 million so and then for our cash cow so that's what we was doing because you know we, we we the way we made that 175 million we saved up all our our pack of facility products until June this month and then we need so now we just said we're gonna uh, turn our food factories into crisp and that's gonna be our cash cows until we get to a billion and what what was we managing here we got so what I could do but I don't think so because this is for our soy milk So we have sugar and soybeans here. And you can distribute it. We can put this on this and that, I think that's what I will do. I will just put it on distribute. And it'll distribute out through all the I wasn't doing that at first. I was just going picking them up. We're gonna try this from here on now. We just gonna have it distributing all around and just keep it filled up. And I think you could turn all these on. It may slow down product process, but we'll see. We're gonna try something, and then we're gonna turn on. And we're gonna just sell all these products right here because we got whatever it takes to produce it. We got sugar, and we'll we'll just do it like that. Cause I think the cycles will produce the same. It may bog it down, but we'll just see. Cause we can buy soy milk now. I think I'm not sure, but we'll test it out. See, but it doesn't look like it's stopping nothing because butter is already moving fast at 47. So, yeah, like a lot of people say it takes, you know, selling straight and take percentage, but I mean, it, you still, you still would make a profit, I would, I would think. Because it's selling back to, let's see, the dairy price. We could look at. So it was it, yeah. So you know, it still sells for not. And see, we ready to produce sorghum now, syrup. And I will just put this one on distribute too and see if it'll keep them going while we're doing other things. So uh, we have to, and these have been our cash cows as well, selling uh, furniture, pellets in the winter time, bring a nice cost. So as you can see right here, we got 552000 Pellets, but the price have, of pellets have gone down substantially. So 
So that's gonna be for when our winter come, our town needs heat. So that's what we provide for that. So objects, yes, so that's what we got objects, food, objects, and liquid, and reputation. Kind of at our main carpentry and our food factories for Chris. Because we had two food factories just producing ketchup and salad, but we turned both of those to crisp and we just we'll just buy ketchup and salad. Important. And our multi-production factory has been a wonderful business. As you can see, we have about a full load for seed, solid fertilizer, and lime. So there's three things that, that sell pretty good, you know, that's ready. So that, that's a few million, you know, easy. And we will turn this on, and we will turn this on to distribute. But we was, this is a cash cow. Serp is a cash cow, too. And as you can see, you can uh, make sugar as well, and you can sell that. So to maximize your income with these production channels, you just turn them all on and just let them automatically sell. That's a big tip when you don't want to, like, because right now these are just sitting there when you could fill them up, you know, with some, you can import sugar beet and that'll, that'll help you out, you know, it would expand in your fields. We're not trying to do too much work and waiting on fields to harvest, things like that. These are cash cows, like, that's what business and industry is for in real life. Cash cow businesses help other businesses uh, mature and spread their wings and prosper. Like over here in our fuel refinery, it provides us fuel, it provides us methane, which we're selling electric charge. And we're going to turn this on. We're going to sell because it's going to stop. And this is where our compost is coming in. So over time, we should... You know, with, with building out go, with, with large amounts of money and larger production chains, it's all about uh, generating income on your farms as, as any way you could. And this one is missing. And this is our industrial BGA where this is. Uh, we got a we got an electrical system for our uh, for our map as well, so we provide energy. And, it, and basically, we have 917,949 uh, liters of energy, you know, ready to, di to distribute throughout our network distributors. And it's, you know, so that's how we get. And then we got the uh, hoses and pumps from right next to it. And that, we got that rumping, running. Ferminators is running perfect. Bunkers is running okay. So, and we have right here, and this is, it helps us distribute. So we're distributing across our biogas plant. And uh, we got a, we got digestate, so we make money off digestate on this one. So that's how we got it popping. We got it going. Yeah, so our, you know, we got the network distributors running, maximizing that. Our, and then we have our, and like I said, we can turn this on. If it fills up, you can just automatically sell it. And then we have our diesel factory, which we produce diesel, and we take that to the sale. And we get a not hefty amount of diesel. They got this diesel sale. So from our diesel factory, we could sell it like we could turn on that. We could turn it on and it sell straight to the factory for thirty six hundred. You ain't got to worry about it. But we store it up 
load it up in the truck, take it to the diesel cell, we get seven thousand. So that's a, that's one of our other income streams. And then we just been kind of trying to build up our methane, and then we can we, like we can turn this methane on and sell it on, and we'll get a little amount. But I was trying to see how far I can go to get them filled up and then turn them on. Like this one got about thirty-one thousand liters of methane. In it. Okay, yeah. So these two we just added. So that's what we did. We sold a few products and chains that we really wasn't doing, and then we just bought these extra ones to generate more electricity. For passive, so these are the ones we just started. It's one, we did one, two, three, and these were the main ones we had 31,000. Okay. Yeah, so that's it for our production chain. So, really, we just gonna be managing and working until we get to a billion. So, let's just look at our, uh, we can look at our. statistics so like I said yo years play five years so we did all this within five years so that's the benefits of uh, not having to work too much in the field like modernized you know like I say and then what we did we still bought the fields and we just you know provide work for the people but overall just three fields Three or four fields out of 20 some fields provided us with this much income within five years with production chain. And, you know, the but we was playing on easy and that helped the money generate. But on my PS5 Western Wilds edition, we're playing on, we started from scratch on hard. I think we got, you know, we, t we doing pretty good in that too as well, so. And basically what we're going to do is create, like I said, create our uh, farming industry, create some animal industries and create some production chains and see can we build a western town. So be looking forward to that. You know, if you ain't already a subscriber to the channel, hit the subscribe button, notification bell so you can be updated when we start releasing our western wild farming simulator videos and when we drop some more in to complete our billions, folks. So, yeah, I mean, life has been going pretty good, you know, can't complain. Like I said, uh, our prayer has been going out to all the people who've been in the weather phenomenon around the world. And just hope everybody's in high hopes, you know, and peace to you guys and much success. And uh, stay in your prayers and high hopes, you know, and just keep this farming, and you know. Farming thing. So as I was thinking about it, so basically our farming content provides a lot of information to uh, anybody who wants to be in an industry of, or just a passion for food, research, animals, plants, and just a lot of other things, soil, uh, rehabilitation, just a lot of things. So far, we worked about, you know, we really ain't been doing too much farm work, but we have. And I would say, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test out a lot of different machinery as we, since we got enough money, we can do a lot of stuff. And now we can just kind of test machinery, I test equipment out and stuff like that as we just, you know, cruise on through and see our seed, our multi-seed factory came in handy because we really never had to spend any money on seeds or fertilizer. You see what I'm saying? So, that would be a, a production chain that you couldn't, that you always, and it's going to produce seed, you know, seed produces fast. So, you'll be able to provide seed for yourself and uh, proceed to other farmers as well and see we provide our own fuel so we don't really need to <laughs> uh, buy fuel at a high fuel so all those fuel guys out there who produce fuel you don't you know you don't need to 
any way you can save a cost. So bill produced, I think we t we was doing a project, those are cotton bills we produced on our field. Yeah, so we're gonna probably wrap this video up, man. And uh, the next video you be a, you catch around, we gonna uh, jump through some vehicles. Okay, yeah, so we turned this into kind of like some real estate. I'm glad I, because I, okay, so what we did, we, we got some real estate. So these homes right here, you can go in them, you can put them down. So up here, for my people who working up here on this end, we got like a little apartment. You can come in here, uh, you know, kind of live in it. Up. We got some real estate, or this is just a place to sleep, whatever, you know, we need to. We don't want to go back down in the end. Then our white sheep up here. Then we got the stain posted in the cut. You know. Nice little home. So that's what these guys did. Get us some more different, you know, type of homes. That we, you know, nice luxury ones that we, you know, like, you know, some hotel or something we can walk in if they can, if they can do it. But yeah, that'll liven it up. And that's what I was going to think. Cause yeah, I think you can place a lot of them there. Got a big grass field here. Got some more windmills up top. So we now we're on field. We're around up here by field three. And field nine is where we had our cotton. Now we got the barley. So we got our little hub up here producing sheep's milk. I wish we can distribute that. But we load it up. So we got some good old barley and we 100% fertilized. So we really just waiting on it to uh, get ready to get sold up, reaped up. So we sold up, ready to reap up. Reap what you sow. Barley in this matter. Farming Simulator Year 2 Season Pass now available. So if you guys interested, make sure you, you know, get that uh, DLCs. Get you some equipment, you know, where you don't have to pay that extra cost. Yeah, so we just winding the day down. So I think we'll run over here. What we're going to do... We're gonna wrap this video up right here folks so thank you guys for tuning in subscribing being a part of our milling group <laughs> double h so the pseudo pro gaming we back at you live folks we'll catch you guys on the next one so make sure you stay tuned and we'll catch you later peace